Hi there everyone, this is uh, my first potato reveal of my Yukon Golds. As you can see, they've died back pretty well. I think they're a little early. I'm not sure if you can see me on that camera or not, but anyway. Um, yeah, so they're a little early, but this is the this one of, of my five containers was the first to die off completely so that's the one I'm going to do now so we will begin I think there was four seed potatoes in here to look about it. Apart from the fact that they're too clean, they don't look too bad, and not as many as I was hoping for. But they did die back early. I think we'll uh, put the soil back in the container and then we'll do a print wash. I'll be back. Yeah, uh, we're back again. Gonna try the print wash again. So there's the wash. It didn't come as clean <laughs> this time. And um, there's some 
it's looked alright. We've got a little bit of scab. Oh, that's showing up. A little bit of scab. But edible. Now that one going bad. It looks like it's got a slug in it. Going bad too. I don't think it's blight. It's just a I don't think it would be showing on the others if it was blight. But anyway, this one has been eaten. <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether that's showing. That one's been eaten pretty good. Anyway, there's my reveal. I will do a quick way. I'm guessing there's about a pound, <coughs> a pound and a half. Maybe. We'll come back. I'm not even going to bother to weigh the littlest ones there. Hopefully we're still recording, yes. Alright. Now, this was from four seed potatoes. Yukon Golds, and it's looking like, where are we, just over 2, 2.4 ounces, 2, point, yeah, 2 pounds 4 ounces roughly, and whether that's showing up, there's the potatoes. Two pounds, four ounces. So, not that impressive. Um, I've had much better yields from the buckets, but... And a couple of them, are, the small ones, have started to go bad for some reason. Not blight, I don't think, but anyway. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. First Yukon reveal. Bye for now. Hi there, back again, just on the uh, first Yukon uh, reveal and this is my uh, parsnips for the ugly parsnip challenge and I was going to take one of these out but I just, just unearthed the top of one just to see how big they were and they're not that big yet so um, they're still looking fairly green and healthy so I think I'll just leave them. This one here was starting to get some die back. But um, that's the one I checked and it's it's probably only about that big around at the top. So um, I think I'll leave them. They've got a long time to go. I just watched Dave's uh, um, reveal for his birthday parsnip and I think he's probably going to win anyway with that octopus <laughs> octopus parsnip uh, so uh, but we will see I'll leave them a little longer I guess the reveal's not till January anyway but it might be a little different for us because January here we could have uh, these could be buried under two feet of snow so uh, we will see my, my, my reveal might be earlier than that, might be in uh, November or December possibly, if they keep going that long. We, we get our first frosts in uh, late October, so, or early October I should say, and uh, they get more severe as time goes on, so. Anyway, and that's, these are more of my Yukons, I've got four more pots to or containers of Yukons and it's not looking very promising so far based on the first reveal but that's it that's my that's my update and just going to show you the the um 
sunflowers they're just little ones these guys these are actually from the bird seed <laughs> that I feed <laughs> uh, so potentially these are a commercial a commercial variety I guess I had some of the Russian giants and I guess the rabbits like them I had four of the Russian giants in here and they got trimmed off they got eaten they never got a chance to get big apparently the rabbits don't like these ones the commercial ones which might be a bad thing anyway the uh, oh I'm at it, I just thought I'd show you this is my sad beans because I think this is the first rabbit damage I've got they something snip them cleanly all of them snip them right off at the bottom about five inches six inches off four to six inches off the bottom just and almost like somebody came along with scissors every single one of them and that's the result so I guess I've got some seed beans maybe if these are big enough well, maybe they're not big enough might have to eat them this one here might be big enough anyway there that's my update and potato reveal Thanks for watching. Bye for now.